Hey guys, Silent Thunder here again with episode 6 of Zero to Hero. Um, I've let the, the day soak on the auction house and I've come and reposted all of my expired auctions. And I have a few sales here to go through. Um, again, mostly vendor items or things that I bought from the vendor. But uh, let's just see what all I've sold. So I sold a stack of 6 Strange Dust for 5 gold, five gold 93. Um, I've also gone around already and bought up a few more vendor items. Uh, bought some enchanting mats, some more blasting powder. I'm going to try Tinker's kits out as well. Uh, they cost me 1 gold 90 to buy and the cheapest one on the auction house about 14 gold. So I'm going to try my luck with those. And I also invested in a whole stack of Tome of the Clear Mines. I'm going to try to sell a stack. And Guild Tabards. I've put a couple of Guild Tabards on there and I bought one more as well. Uh, so back to this Earth Root. Three of them for 54 silver. Peace Bloom times two for one gold 97. Uh, some single Vanishing Powders. These are 1 gold 58 apiece. A single bruise weed for just under 1 gold. Bronze Framework for 49 gold. I bought that off of the engineering vendor. So there is my almost my 50 gold back that I started with just in that one item. Uh, another Vanishing Powder. Blue Dye. I figured I'd try out the different dyes from the tailoring vendor. And I got a hit on one of them, the blue die. I actually sold, looks like, four of them for five gold apiece. So, they were very cheap to buy, of course, and there's uh, 20 gold added on to my total. And I got lucky. I got lucky with one of the five transmog items, six transmog items I bought in the last episode. Uh, I managed to sell one of them for 99 gold, so there. Right up to 200 gold already. And then a lesser magic essence for one gold eighty nine. So let's get this other stuff reposted on here, I guess. As you can see I still have lots of uh, vendor items on here for sale. A few pages, one hundred and forty two items total. Uh, get these recipes on here. I would love to sell one of those. I would get big profits. Blasting powder is kind of cheap, but I would still profit from it. <clears throat> Post this other's Tinker's Kit. A couple more Dust of Disappearance. I'm going to try to sell this as a stack. What's the vendor buy price? 47 silver. I'm going to try to get... Uh, maybe... 50 gold for the stack. I'm gonna try it anyway. And another gold tabard. Let's put this one at 39 gold. I'm gonna undercut myself. Maybe somebody will see it and think it's a good deal. <laughs> and there we go. I'll repost it. Go to my shopping tab. Let's do a vendor search. See if there's anything I can buy. No, I guess not. Nothing that I can buy. And resell um, do a transmog search just let that run all right guys I've skipped ahead a little bit my scans just about ready to finish here see a couple really cheap pieces I'd like to get um, I was tempted to stop the scan before it finished just so I could buy those, but uh, I'm hoping that they're still available now that the scan's done. That one was... That one was... Good. Looks like I'm gonna get them. Maybe all of them. Good. Alright, what else is here? I don't want to spend too much. I might buy these and try to resell them cheaper than I normally would again, maybe. I have a little bit more gold to work with this time, so I can buy more pieces than I would have been able to purchase before. I'm just going to kind of go right through some of these. Uh, 
couple more things here. Let's see. Oh, that's a good one. Nine gold. Gonna be a bit more fussy with some of these more expensive ones. Try those prospector mitts. can I buy? Maybe I should try that. 19 gold. It's going to cost me a lot. 20 gold. It's going to cost quite a bit to post it too. Uh, what else? Try those. One or two more pieces, I'll bring myself back down a bit. Alright, that brings me down to about 70 gold. Is there anything else here that might be really good in my opinion? It's going to be worth investing in. Hmm, that's different. If I had more gold, it'd be no problem. I would just buy that. Maybe I'll buy this. Bandit gear is usually pretty popular. 39 gold. Hmm. Is there anything else I want instead? Alright, I think I'll take that piece and I'll call it good with that. Go get this. Oh, I need a bag. It's time for a bag. Let's see what I can buy for a reasonable price bag. I think I'll buy this one for one gold. <laughs> this ten slaughter for two gold. Gotta be careful, I don't have a lot of gold at the moment, so. Just buy some of these cheaper bags for now. Alright, that puts me down to 24 gold. I would love to find a Blangtron. There hasn't been a Blangtron around yet. It's kind of early in the morning right now, though. Let me equip these bags first so I can take all this gear. the decision of whether to post it cheap or post it what I nor would normally post it at. And I think I think I'm just going to post it at what I would normally post them at. Well, some of them anyway. This one I'll post. Post. I'm going to post that. I think I'll skip this one and undercut that guy. I think I'll post that. That'd be really nice to sell 1500 gold. Any of these would be nice to sell a few hundred gold a piece. Um, I think I'll post that what I normally would. that one then, I guess as well just post them all get them out of my bags I guess uh, this one here I think I said I would undercut it says that there's no auctions available oh it's because it's uh, 
it's got an enchant on it. So 75 gold, I gotta sell it for like 75 or less. Let's go 74 gold. That's why. Oh, I sold the dust of disappearance while I was here. Alright, so I got some bags. I had some gold and I spent it. Reinvest it. You can't be shy to do that. I would love to find a bling tron, but there's just none around. And I think I'll call it there and let that soak a while and see if I can get some more sales. And uh, we'll keep you guys updated. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll have some more videos as well as other guides coming out soon.